first opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle. Tampa Bay taking the field again here, Charles. And before this next drive, let's visit what was easily the most anticipated game of week one. Their game against New Orleans. New Orleans getting the better of the Buccaneers, 34-23. Of course, it was the debut of Tom Brady in Pewter. Uh, against Say it again. In, Say it again. Oh, pewter? Yeah, that's that's the color, right? Tom Brady in pewter. We've known this was coming, yet finally it was here. And I don't know about you, but it still seems surreal to see Tom Brady in that uniform. Yeah, it was strange, and unfortunately a couple of costly interceptions for TB12 that really helped New Orleans win this football game. Yeah, and, and look, he's going to play better down the road. His head coach, Bruce Arians, said it really well. He came out lighting it up. But then they had some poor drives, penalties, turnovers. That's what cost them. And, of course, they ran into the three-time defending division champs, the New Orleans Saints. That's a good football team. So that's okay. One game, they'll get better, but it's going to take a little bit of time with all these new pieces being added in Tampa. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Akeem Hicks at 6'5", 332, finds his way home for the sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback, because he had no chance to block him. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Brady's pass there, complete to Gronkowski. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. down at the 23-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and six. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. A 50-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. taken about a yard deep 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Another chance here to see what the Chicago Bears can do offensively. And Charles, they got the win at Detroit in Week 1, 27-23. A very important Week 1 victory for them. Yeah, there was a late drop by DeAndre Swift that probably could have changed the fortunes of that game. But nonetheless, a road victory in the division. And the quarterback situation in Chicago always seems to be a topic. But Mitchell Trubisky was the guy. And when things got down at the end, he made the magic happen. And I love how they stuck with him despite the fact they acquired Nick Foles. And many people thought Nick Foles would be the starter when they began. But this, as Trubisky struggled a bit in this game, they stayed with him, and boy, were they rewarded. Three fourth-quarter touchdown passes. The Bears came from 17 down to win. And now, how about the optimism that reigns? They host the Giants this week, and they are 1-0. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 11 yards there, first down. Always thought Allen Robinson was a high flyer from his days at Penn State, and none of that has changed with the Chicago Bears. If you throw the ball out to the perimeter, if it's a 50-50 ball, more times than not, he's going to come down with it. And some say he was the victim of some subpar quarterback play last year. He didn't let that bother him at all. Stud, 98 catches and over 1,000 yards receiving. Allen Robinson just goes out and plays and plays hard each and every week. A three-yard pickup. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Rolling to his left. He's going to take off with it. Number 10. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. A one-yard gain brings up third and six. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Now it's Trubisky. The screen pass here to Cohen. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. I would think that by now people are done underestimating Tariq Cohen because of his stature when they see him at about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, but he can do it all. He can run inside, run to the perimeter. But he also catches the ball really well out of the backfield. And he had more receptions than carries last season. He kind of looks like Darren Sproles, who's been his inspiration as an NFL player. In 2018, Tariq Cohen was a pro bowler as well. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Well, I haven't met an NFL player yet that doesn't use criticism as an edge. And Jimmy Graham has heard that a number of people think he's near the end of his career. And he didn't put up the numbers he should have put up in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. I think he's going to play with a huge chip on his shoulder. Nice catch there. He wants to show flashes of that form that he exhibited early in his career with New Orleans and Seattle. He was trying to get it that time to Ted Ginn. And it's third and short. And he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. At their own Could not have thrown that out there any better. When the ball hit the ground, I thought it might go into the end zone the way it was angling, but perfectly jutting out at the one. You think maybe what we saw in practice came into play there? You know how he put those big cans down on the sideline and then angled for them and then shot for them? Looks like it worked out pretty well for him, too. On first down, Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That first down run could not have turned out worse for a defense because when they came out on the field, their number one mission, keep them stacked up close to their goal line and at worst, create great field position for their offense. 
Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Airing this one out for Evans. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for it with McCoy. And they're going to get the first down here as he's up to the 14. A pickup of five yards. First down, Tampa. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. And that'll set them back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Play action. Now it's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. Mike Evans has been so good downfield. I think that sometimes we end up taking him for granted. When you look back at what he's done each year in the league, He's been a 1,000-yard receiver each and every time. Now paired with the prolific Tom Brady, those numbers could really jump. On first and 10, here's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Brad, he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, whenever you talk about players that really broke out in the 2019 season, you better add Chris Godwin to that list. Over 1,300 yards receiving, nine touchdowns. He was second among receivers last season, receiving yards per game at 95. This guy combines great body control, excellent strength, and terrific route running ability to become a really big downfield threat. From the 47, it's second and five. On play action, now Brady. He completes it to Evans. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I'll guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to LaShawn McCoy, and now it's second down. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They go back to the ground with McCoy. And he gets it down close to the ten-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. 
It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, and some nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. And at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. An eight-yard touchdown run as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. Makes the score Buccaneers 10, Bears nothing. Bradley Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now, penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Trubisky on first down. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll pull it down and able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. First down, Trubisky sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Bears nothing. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Trubisky. He'll buy some time right. He'll try and run it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The they brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. To throw again on second down, Trubisky, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Here's David Montgomery, second-year man from Iowa State. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the second time.
And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roll Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. To throw on second and six, Brady, rush coming, and he's taken down. Blowing that play up, Roquan Smith, as he gets the sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast, and a big sack. The sack backs him up third and long. Tough challenge for Brady and the Bucs. From the gun, it's Brady. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie, Jalen Johnson. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. First down, a run with Cohen. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The ball carrier. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And Graham's got it, complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They'll run on first down. It's Cohen. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They give it off here to the tight end. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10 7 now. Makes the score Buccaneers 10, Bears 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. 
The Bucks ready to take over once again. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Second and yeah, nine. things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Shotgun now for Brady. He finds McCoy. Give him three on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. The Bucks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Operating from the gun. Brady. He's got Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady to Evans that time. First down, Tampa. Good catch there by Mike Evans. And his ability to get downfield and create big plays is something that Tom Brady hasn't had on the perimeter in the last few seasons. Mike Evans often fools defenders with his speed because he's so long, people think he can't be that fast, but he is and combines it with terrific hands and makes big catches. Buster Screen is able to bring him down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second down, it's McCoy. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Brady. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Just shy of midfield. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. The Bucks on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. And they will advance this across midfield, but still well shy of a first as he's tackled at the 47. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. David Montgomery, the ball carrier. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Throwing on second and eight, Trubisky. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it's third down. 
Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And they work this out past the 25. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. He's tackled at the 20. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. But that's Shaq Barrett, last year's sack leader, gets in there to register another one. Third and ten. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And this is going to be incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out come the Bucs now. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer create space for our runners and let's go ahead and get these guys low man wins let's go do it on this drive <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down that time a slant Brady in general on those quick hitters he just releases the ball so fast he does and he's so accurate but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. A throw over the middle, taken in. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Ten yards one of the feature on the points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And an incomplete pass. Intended for That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. Didn't work there. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the 8-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And his pass incomplete. 
Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Trubisky. It's complete to Robinson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Here's Trubisky to throw. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. First and 10. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Trubisky. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And now he'll tuck it and run. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 39. That one good for 26 and a first down. First and, and offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be from 56 yards out. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at their own 46. Letting one go deep here for Gronk. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. He'll get five out of the scramble. His second down. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. 
Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 19 yards on that one. First down, Chicago. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. The ball carrier. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, a strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. First down, they go right back to Cohen. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard so line. Cohen, the ball carrier. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Now it's Trubisky. This is caught by Gann. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. It's good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And Gin's got it! And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Working with his second and four. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Chicago 
And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bears have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. That's going to set him back five yards. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. They'll go again to McCoy. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Roquan Smith in on the tackle. It's a gain of two yards. And it's third down. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Complete 14 the yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a first down carry by Jones. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Again, it's Jones. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Ronald Jones, the ball carrier. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. From midfield, here's Brady. They'll set up the screen to McCoy. 
And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. The tackle and how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted at, spotted at the 14-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. And there's the anchor of this line, Big Vita Vea on the tackle, former first-round pick in his third season now out of the University of Washington. And glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and ten. Now it's Trubisky. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 30 big ones. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Draw play here. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. He's brought down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The first down line at the 34 here on third down. From the gun, it's Trubisky. The connection made, it's Graham. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. Khalil Mack. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the four-yard line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and eight coming up. They'll go again to Jones. And some room to work. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. A gain of eight. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. 
A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Brady's throw there complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. On second down now. It's McCoy, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Brady now to throw. Airing this one out for Evans, and that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of, and in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth-quarter comeback, and he hits a big one right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. From the gun, it's Brady. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. He finds McCoy. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. But plays like that, Charles, no doubt, they're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Turn. Here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am 
and speechless. I am without speech. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. They go play action. Trubisky. He finds Robinson. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. And off comes to Montgomery. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and nine. The Bears on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and ten. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed. Not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Complete. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. It's a gain of 20. Well, that was a fun and one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. <laughs> to throw, it's Brady. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Complete to look For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This one complete to Scott Miller. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. down, Buccaneers. Brady now on first down. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. And the pressure gets to him again. The sack by Robert Quinn. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. 
possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Shotgun now for Brady. And that is incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. Seven yards on the punt with no return, and the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario... Get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now left side on the swing pass. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Montgomery on the counter. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 35-yard line. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Back to throw. He completes it to Evans. Brady, a gain of six there on first. Might not be anyone that's run the two-minute drill better than Tom Brady. Second all-time in fourth quarter comebacks. And even though he's second all-time, it feels like first in all the most important comebacks. He's the right guy to have the ball in this situation. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards there and a first down. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Back to throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. This entire defensive unit, Charlie, really put in a good shift tonight, so to speak. I like how you phrase that. This has been a good shift. They punched the clock the entire evening. Ought to have shirts that have their names on them in the front to let them know these are blue-collar workers who are getting it done. It's caught. It's Miller. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Wait, 
They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Brady gives this one off to Jones. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Five yards remain on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Jones. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. The give is to Jones. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. On now is Ryan Suckup for the field goal try. Two for two tonight. This will be for the win. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen, possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Chicago.